Hi family, it's great to see you. I was just out on my front porch, but they're doing some construction at the um, building across the street. So it's a little bit loud out there. You might still be able to hear it actually. <laughs> oh. um, today is an interesting day emotionally for me. Um, I did my morning routine, I prayed, I listened to Abraham Hicks, I meditated, um, I'm drinking my coffee. Mm. Mm, it's very strong today, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, and checking in with myself, I... I am feeling a feeling that I haven't haven't felt in a long time and it takes me right back to when I was using. Um, it's a motion of I can do pretty much anything that I want and I don't want to do anything. Is that sad? Is that a sad feeling? Um, I used to smoke and that would help. Now I don't smoke and I need to figure out what the solution is, what the healthy, well-adjusted solution is. Um, I'm really glad that I don't need to smoke these days. I'm really, really grateful um, to be sober and I'm grateful for my sobriety. And I'm grateful for the understanding that I've learned. Uh, I need to stay um, in the place of emotional well-being um, stay positive and I am really hopeful for the future. I'm not depressed. I know this feeling could lead to depression, but I'm not depressed. I just am a little lost. I, it's like I wanted one thing. I really want one thing more than anything else in the entire world and I can't have it. And now I'm 30 and I'm a grown up. I have to deal with that like a grown up. I can't throw a fit and assert my will and get my way. Um, I just need to accept the reality of my situation and move on. Um, in AA, they say rejection is God's protection. So this is a blessing. I don't know how it's a blessing, but it is. Um, and... This is a feeling that I was feeling yesterday and it's still here and I was driving to yoga and I was trying to process how I was feeling. And I have all of this energy inside of me and it's trapped because I don't have a healthy outlet, coping mechanism, and it feels like I have a bonfire in my chest. It is so uncomfortable. It's not painful, it's just uncomfortable to have all of this energy swirling in here and it's just burning me up. Um, I should ask God, God use this fire inside of me to burn the things that no longer serve me. Yeah, 
make me a clear vessel for your love and light to come through so you can work through me yeah god's working through all of us because we're all connected to source we're all made of the same material source energy Um, so I've got this fire inside of me. I've got all this extra energy that's not going anywhere. So I'm trying to figure out where do I direct it? And I decided that I want to open an office for myself because I don't feel good when I sit in my house by myself all day. Um, I need to be around people and I need to be working on my mission uh, to raise the vibration of the world. <laughs> and so I yesterday I went to Lincoln Square Mall, which is just this big dead mall in Urbana. And I was looking in the windows of like different stores that were empty and the security guard, his name is William. He came up, he was like, do you wanna see inside? And I was like, yes. So he took me on a tour um, and he had the keys to, to the whole building. And he was like, any, any door that I wanted to go in, he could unlock it and show it to me. So I went through and I looked at all the different um, empty storefronts in the mall. And I found this amazing, little shop and there's like a bunch of different little rooms in it and it has its own bathroom and like a really mini kitchenette and I'm thinking that I'm going to open up my own office and I can I can work out of there I can paint I can sell little buddies t-shirts posters whatever merch I want to sell. Um, and then uh, I can display all my art on the wall. Maybe in one of the back rooms, I set up my massage table and I could do massages out of there. And the thought is I eventually want to create a body of, of art, of work that I can display as a gallery show, a pop-up gallery. And this is going to raise awareness for happy healing. I'm thinking that I want to call my, my office or my little like pop-up shop. Side note, it's so Keith Haring. I literally can't even, I just love it. <laughs> um, so I'm thinking that uh, I want to call it blackbird experience so I need so I got the owner of the mall Jim Webster I think his name I got his number so I need to call him and um, yeah I'm just really excited <laughs> I feel really positive about this and I need to look at I I look different I feel different just talking about this, I have to be directing my energy forward. Staying stuck keeps me sick. And I am healthy. I am vibrant. I am full of life. I'm here to help the world. And, and I feel like I help the world by helping um, my community. Just doing a little bit at a time. Um, so how do I chop this up into smaller, more manageable things? I need to call Jim. I need to probably talk to my dad first and get some advice before I call Jim. 
and I know my dad's gonna say go in and ask what the other shop owners uh, how much rent they're paying okay so I should go to the mall start networking asking how much people are paying in rent then I can call Jim and then set up a time to meet with him and rent out my store okay that sounds like a plan <laughs> okay now I need to motivate myself to do something because guys, I've just been sitting on YouTube, just watching YouTube a lot, a lot. Um, and I just, I want to be around people. I want to collaborate with people. I want to make art with other people. That's what I want. I want someone who like sees me and collaborates with me. And as I'm saying that I do have someone Corey and I started writing a movie last night. Well, we started writing it last Sunday and then last night after the meeting, we sat down and we started like writing it out and it is amazing. It's a mockumentary and some of our inspirations are The Office, Best in Show, This is Spinal Tap, Trailer Park Boys, a little bit of Reno 911. And the movie is loosely based off of reality set in the rooms of AA and there is an alien okay I don't want to give too much away but it is so much fun and literally we talked last night for an hour and a half and it went by like that and <laughs> so I do have a lot of positive things going on in my life yeah so I am very grateful <sighs> okay, I wish I could just stand here and talk with you all day. I love talking with you. <laughs> all right, well, I will see you tomorrow. Tag out. <laughs>